If you haven't seen it yet, you're going to see it now because this is the Miami Dolphins organization with a lot of players punctuated by their head coach, Brian Flores, with their explanation of what they plan to do before the game on Sunday when they face the Patriots in New England. Here it is. Is it authentic? That's the mystery. Or is it just another symbolic victory? Now there's two anthems. Do we kneel? Do we stand? If we could just right our wrongs, we wouldn't need two songs. We don't need another publicity parade. So we'll just stay inside. Until it's time to play the game. Whatever happened to the funds that were promised? All of a sudden we got a collapsed pocket? The bottom line should not be the net profit. You can't open your heart when it's controlled by your wallet. Decals and patches. Fireworks and trumpets. We're not puppets. Don't publicize false budgets. Ask the pundits and we shouldn't have a say. If you speak up for change, then I shut up and play. If we remain silent, that would just be selfish. Since they don't have a voice, we're speaking up for the helpless. It's not enough to act like you care for the troops. Millions for pregame patriotism. You get paid to salute. Lift every voice and sing. It's just a way to save face. Lose the mask and stop hiding the real game face. So if my dad was a soldier, but the cops killed my brother, do I stand for one anthem and then kneel for the other? This attempt to unify only creates more divide. So we'll skip this song and dance. And as a team, we'll stay inside. We need changed hearts, not just a response to pressure. Enough, no more fluff and empty gestures. We need owners with influence and pockets bigger than ours. To call up officials and flex political power. When education is not determined by where we reside. And we have the means to purchase what the doctor prescribed. And you fight for prison reform and innocent lives. And you repair the communities that were tossed to the side. And you admit you gained from it and you swallowed your pride. And when greed is not the compass, but love is the guide. And when the courts don't punish skin color, but punish the crime. Until then, we'll just skip the long production and stay inside. For centuries, we've been trying to make you aware. Either you're in denial or just simply don't really care. It's not a black-white thing or a left-right thing. Let's clean the whole bird and stop arguing about which wing. Before the media starts wondering and guessing, they just answered all your questions. We'll just stay inside. Powerful, powerful video, and the message from the Dolphins is they're not coming out uh, all season long. The way I read that, yeah, forget right. it. We're not going to be part of this. And the line that really resonated with me, uh, every one of them did to some level or another, yeah, but right. this attempt to unify only creates more divide. That gets to what we were talking about. It, it, it's hopeless at this point. I, I am a very hopeful and positive person. I also try to balance you know, legitimate concerns with, like, a virus that is killing people, uh, despite the mixed messages we've received for months about whether or not it really is something that should be taken seriously. But I still try to view the world as glass half full. I still try to have a hopeful and optimistic view for the future. But the reality is the attempt to unify only creates more divide because we are lo we are two nations whose inhabitants are living in the same giant tract of land. And the question is, can we find a way to coexist? Because we're not going to change each other's minds. There are two different Americas, period. And nothing you say, Chris, nothing I say, nothing anyone else says is going to change it. And uh, it's just that's that is our reality. And the sooner we accept it and try to figure out how to thrive within it, the better off we'll all be. Yeah, of course. I mean, I'm, that's what we're all hoping for here. And yeah, that was an amazing video by the Miami Dolphins. And, of course, they have an amazing leader in Brian Flores. You know how I feel about him, Mike. I mean, to me, he's one of the better human beings in all of football. He's something, somebody I would follow in a second. I've known him for a long time. And he's a guy, again, that I'll say is just he's seen all of this, all these issues we have. You know, firsthand, he came from, what, Brownsville, New York, like right in Brooklyn there. It's, it's one of the roughest, toughest areas in our country. So he's seen it all. And, yes, that was a very powerful statement. And I think, you know, the, the, the fact of staying inside, I, I don't know, sometimes I almost feel like can maybe sway some of those people who are on the fence to come over to what I'll call the good side, okay, 
a little bit more than maybe because the ones that kneel where those people on the fence now they're oh they're throwing this in my face and they're just Chris, yeah, Chris, I, I, what, Chris what, what this this issue has been around for four years yeah in the past four years have you come across a single human being who has said to you I'm not really sure how I feel about this yeah I have I have I haven't I haven't every I I, I get in arguments with my is some of my idiot friends and even family members all the time where I'm going, you're well, no, but yeah, but no, 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 no. But I'm talking about somebody who's truly undecided. Everybody has their viewpoint and it's not changing. That's the thing. Nothing we say is going to change anyone's mind and nothing they say is going to change our mind. And that's what we have become. However, we got here, whether it's just the natural evolution of our civilization or whether it's manipulation by Russian bots and trolls on social media. Yeah, well, that's there. Whatever we that. it may be, yeah. whatever, but whatever the explanation. Well, I mean, we got to be but realistic I'm not going to buy that. No, I'm not going to buy it. I'm, I'm not. I'm I, not. Well, because, but, but it's the truth. Well, it's a, I mean, it's you don't, we don't have to like most. it. I know, it's true for most. It. But we've seen some change already from the four years to now. I mean, we're seeing even just in the NFL, the white players who have stood up and started to speak out. I mean, they've changed. So they've changed their behavior. They haven't changed their mind. Okay, that's a no step in the right direction. Minds. You're right. There are some out there that you can change their mind. There are. I, I do believe that. I've had a few friends who, yeah, you know, unfortunately, they haven't had the experiences I've had, haven't been around black, black people, African Americans, and they just never even thought of some of the things that when I have these conversations with them, I start to go, wait, you, you don't understand. You're not putting yourself – and. And you can sway them to go, damn, you know, I, I never thought about that or I never realized that. You're right. It's very few. I'm not trying to, but I, I, I don't want to buy. I, you know, maybe it's just me being a selfish, stupid American. I don't know. I don't want to buy that you can't change people. I know there's a lot you can, but I think there's so, some we can still. Here's the hope, and then we got to take a break. Yeah. The hope is this. The hope is that the extent to which the two Americas are currently at odds is bad enough, not so bad that it ends the country, but it's bad enough that the younger generation is disgusted by the way we're acting and the way we can't find a way as adults to work together and come together oh, and yeah. find common yeah. threads, and that they're so disgusted by it they resolve to never do it. That's our only hope over the long Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.